It's the John and Ken Show. John Cobelt and Ken Shampoo. Welcome. Well, you know, this could be an I told you so, but it's still sad. I mean, we don't want to gloat too much in I told you so's, but we've talked off and on for probably a couple of years now about the major boondoggle. Some say it'll be the largest public works project boondoggle in the history of the U.S. This is, of course, the coveted high-speed rail. Today was the day that the commission released its new business plan. I mean, they already had to go back and regroup, which should tell you something. And again, I'll drop this in. A public relations firm quit the high-speed rail. Why? When When does that happen? When the professional liars jump ship. They don't know how to spin it anymore. They left. You know it's bad. They decided not to renew their contract with the high-speed rail because there is no way you can spin this story to make it uh, other than what it is. A major, major tax drain on the people of California. Now, today was supposed to be good news from them. I'm talking about the High Speed Rail Commission, where they wanted to tell us, oh, you know, there's been a couple of changes. Instead of finishing this by 2020, it's now going to take us till 2033. Are you all right? Just sneezing. Oh, it's going to take us till 2033 to complete. And remember initially when we said it would be $34 billion to, to build this thing? Well, a couple of years later, we said it's going to be $43 billion. Now it's going to be $98.5 billion to build this. I like the way they've rounded it off to a half billion. How come that doesn't have people right away saying, as you like to say, get off the stage and get out of the room. Oh. We're shutting you down. What? Let, Why not? Let's be clear who on could, this. Who could get away with that in the real world? Who could walk in front of a group of people just two years later and say, uh, the, the cost is tripled. We're sorry, but we're going to need more of your money. The cost is tripled, and the time it's going to take to build the rail line has tripled as well. And it's not over. Oh, remember where we said that it would probably be 80% private investors? Eh, we got to flip that. It's going to be 80% taxpayers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're and sorry. And we, we don't have a single... Investor but, 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 and, and the, and then, on and, the planet. And, and the rest is, but now we know what we're doing, so trust us. Oh, screw you. You know, so they should go, I, you should get federal marshals. Oh, carried to, out nude. To go into this high-speed rail commission office and really take everybody out naked and put them on a train and send them to another country. Send them down to Mexico. Get them out of the country. Get Close down their offices. Seize everything in those offices and sell it for scrap on eBay. These people are dangerous. This is criminal what they've done. What they've done is they've committed a massive fraud. You know, we got to get the names of the people who originally sold this and claimed it was going to be $34 billion because they sold it in order to get us to agree to $9 billion in borrowing. In borrowing. It was a referendum and a majority of Californians. Telling people that's it. That'll be it. That's all we need from the taxpayers is $9 billion in borrowing. And we're going to get the rest of the private investment world to kick in the rest. And this will be a massive success. And you know, what and you a know what? pot of lies. By the way, you know what they're doing here? They're doing the old 99 cent store routine. You know how they sell stuff for 99 cents, five ninety nine, ten ninety nine, because psychologically it seems cheaper? That's been a trick that store owners have used since the beginning of time. Notice the numbers here. What was the original borrowing number? $9 billion. Not $10 billion. $9 billion. Isn't that interesting? I'll keep it under 10 to and, make it sound... So- and notice this estimate here, the new one, $98.5 billion. Not $100 billion. They didn't want a $100 billion headline. What they wanted was a $98 billion headline. So maybe people would say, oh, it's not that bad. God. Why would anybody believe a $98 billion? And of course, the LA Times, bullet train estimates rise to $98.5 billion. Why would you believe that? Why would you believe the $98.5 billion? They intentionally took off a billion and a half the same way that any store owner takes off a well, penny on anything you, they sell. Hey, ask yourself a common sense question. If you hired a contractor, a construction crew to build your home five years ago and they said, oh, we can do that for $200,000. And then a year later, they go, well, maybe 300000 And then a couple of years after that, well, maybe maybe $800,000? Yeah. You would say, get out of here. You're fired. That's right. You're a crook. And give me back whatever money I gave you as retainer or whatever it you're is. You're taking those people to court. Whoever is involved with this high-speed rail commission, they ought to be taken to court for fraud, for absolute fraud. Because nine, now there's $9 billion that they can legally borrow. I don't think they've even done it yet, but they have the authority to borrow it. They shouldn't borrow a penny. And if they do and they spend it, they ought to be taken to court because they committed fraud when they said the project was going to cost $34 billion. And now it's $100 billion? I mean, I mean, I mean that, that is an absolute 
lie. They said it was going to be done by 2020. Now it's 2033. And all the rail lines that they've talked about building are places between nowhere and nowhere. Borden to Corcoran, then Bakersfield to Chowchilla. Now, that's and, the second half of the, I mean, and, well, well, I wouldn't even say the second half of this. That's just another extension of this unbelievable ripoff story. John's right. I mean, the other part of this what, is What happened that, to Los Angeles to San Diego? Well, that comes later, like 20 That comes years from now. later. Oh, in 2033, when many of you will be dead, they're going to start building maybe Los Angeles to San Diego. In the meantime, enjoy the Bakersfield to Chowchilla ride. This is how it works. You can't make this up. They start with, and and get this clear. They originally sold you on $9 billion would be the total taxpayer commitment. It would be borrowing, all right? $9 billion for a rail line that was supposed to cost $34 billion. Now the rail line is going to cost almost $100 billion, and you're going to be on the hook for $80 billion of it. So your part of this, you taxpayers, it rose from $9 billion to $80 billion. Now, some of that money they want to get from the federal government, but good luck, because right now the House of Representatives controlled by Republicans is saying to high speed rail, which is good. So but the Obama administration is hell bent on this. And before the Republicans took over, they did authorize three and a half billion dollars to build what John just talked about, the Central Valley route, which is Bakersfield, Chowchilla, Borden, Corcoran, all places that you can't wait to get on a train to go visit. Can so, you? so they're going to spend these billions of dollars to run empty trains between empty cities in 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 the god most godforsaken part of and the state they knew you were going to say that so their answer is oh don't worry every section we build will be independently profitable the, really it's impossible so th- there'll be a crowd of people going from bakersfield to chowchilla to make the line profitable th- 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 this what they with the people involved in pushing this wanted a flow of borrowed money so that they could appoint themselves as grand poobahs and get a large salary. That's the purpose of this. This is to feed people in the BS industry, well, the, the consultants and the planners, including the public relations fools, all the people who look for public projects to attach themselves to like barnacles, like parasites, and then they start slowly sucking the money. No private investor is touching this project in the whole world. You can't even get like you can't even get the Chinese government, and the Chinese government will lend money to anybody. Well, just a month they, ago, a lot of these potential private investors said, "Nope, we're not giving you any money until we see it's up and running and profitable." Well, oh, good luck with that. Look at all the wacky stuff the venture capitalists in Silicon Valley uh, bet money on. Look at all the crazy dot com schemes from ten years ago. I mean, a lot of really wild, wacky stuff they they blew money on. And look now, nobody wants to touch high-speed rail. There isn't a single rational person on the planet who thinks this would ever be profitable, that this would ever get a significant number of of riders. It's impossible. Well, I got bad news. Jerry Brown put out a message today that he's still on board this high-speed rail. We'll talk next about the only ways to stop it. And we'll also give you more lies from this high-speed rail commission. They actually put out ridership numbers. And they put out cost numbers, how much it would cost you to ride the high-speed rail. We got that next. On the John and Ken Show, KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio.